All right, so let's look at this problem. This looks a lot different than the last one, uh, but it's really the same. Uh, all right, so let's look at this. Grains of wood in the board make an angle of 20 degrees with horizontal as shown. Uh, and we want to know, hey, what are the shear and normal stresses at that angle? You know, a per per perpendicular and parallel to the wood grains if the board is subjected to a 250 newton load. All right, so uh, we, we've done a problem like this before. And our old method would be to cut it right here, throw away the rest of this, uh, and we could solve for the N and however we want to draw this tau or, or this V, uh, and then from the N and V find the stresses. We're going to use our new method, though. I don't know if that was, is easier or uh, this new method might be easier, but we can use our new method because our new method is find the if I know the stresses at the old orientation, then I can find the stresses at this new orientation. I can just rotate this, you know, clockwise or counterclockwise by uh, so, so many degrees to find the new stresses. So first, let's find the old stresses. Find the old stresses. Now, uh, if you're lucky, it'll be like last problem, and you'll just be given an, an, an element, and those stresses are drawn on there. Or you might have to work for it. This one we have to work for, but not, not too bad. What would the new stresses be if we cut this right here and, and looked at it, that blue square, that blue element right there? If we cut it right here um, and looked at this blue, let me draw it blue. So this is the old. Uh, then we would have a force of 250. But what type of stress would this be? Uh, well, it's a uniform, normal stress of 250 over the area, 25 by 60. Um, this would be 0.166 uh, MPA or 166.7 kPa. We'd have a <coughs> sigma x of 166 kPa positive because this would be in tension. Um, and no, there would be no V, there would be no shear, right? This would be equal to zero. And we're cutting it right here, so we're not worried about any X. That's the only, um, and sorry, there are no forces right here uh, giving it a sigma X or anything. That's the only stress, so the old. The old would be a sigma X, positive 166.7, an old sigma y of zero, an old tau of zero. So these are the old stresses. <clears throat> now, what are the new stresses? The old sigma x was right here, but I want to know the new sigma x. Uh, I don't know if you just saw that, but I didn't really rotate it 20 degrees. I rotated from here, so this face was pointed out right here, and now this face is pointed out right here. I just rotated it 70 degrees counterclockwise. I rotated it 70 degrees counterclockwise. My other option would be to rotate it 20 degrees clockwise, but I'd have to be careful. I would have to solve for, and we'll talk about this, sigma y, not sigma x, because it would be a new face if, if we want to find this stress. So let me back up a little bit here. We want to find the normal and shear stress perpendicular and parallel to the wood grain. So we want to find this stress. I'm calling it sigma x right here. And we want to find this tau. Okay, so I'm rotating it 70 degrees counterclockwise. Just maybe slow down, back up, re rewind. If we want to know the, the strain at 20 degrees, we've got to rotate counterclockwise 70 degrees to take, look right here, to take that cut to that cut. So maybe we shouldn't have labeled this 20 degrees. <clears throat> what, what? Sorry, what if it had labeled that 70 degrees? Because I want to cut from here. Um, the, my old cut was right here. My new cut 
is right here. I rotated that cut. I think that makes more sense, right? The old cut was straight up and down. My new cut is right at that angle. What'd you have to do with that cut? I had to rotate that cut counterclockwise 70 degrees. And so now I'll get my new stresses. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm ready for my new Sigma X. I'm not gonna rewrite this whole formula, uh, right? The formula is sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 cosine 2 theta plus tau xy sine 2 theta. So this would be positive 166.7 plus 0 divided by 2 because sigma y is 0 uh, plus this would be 166.7 minus that sigma y divided by 2 uh, cosine of 2 times 70, so cosine of 140, plus this last term is tau xy sine 2 theta, tau xy is 0, so I could say sine of 140, but I multiply it times 0. So my new sigma x, my new stress, coming out of that face would be 19.5 kPa. 19.5 kPa. So that new stress is 19.5 kilopascals. Positive, so it's still uh, coming out. Now my new tau x prime y prime. It's, you go back and look at that formula. I think I've got the formula sheet uh, somewhere here. <clears throat> no, maybe I don't. Uh, it's test 2 or test 3 formula sheet. Uh, sorry, I don't. Uh, let me go back to the notes. Uh, but that formula, negative sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 sine 2 theta plus tau xy cosine 2 theta. So negative sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 sine of 2 theta, so sine of 140, plus tau xy, my old tau xy is 0. So this new tau x prime y prime will be negative 53.6 kPa. Negative 53.6 kPa. So it is down that way not pointed to this top right corner top right corner is up there now so so there we go that that's the new sigma x and tau x prime y prime at at the wood grain it's sometimes <clears throat> if we know it's going to fail like this this these pieces of wood sometimes they might fail they might shear right here and they might shear along the grain right if we pulled hard enough uh, they might shear along the grain. It might be weaker along the grain than it is in, in its usual orientation. So if, if we kind of know it's going to fail, sometimes it's helpful to find, hey, what stress is it along that grain? We had an old way of cutting it. Our new way is, hey, just find the stresses at the usual orientation and then use the stress transformation to orient them at 70 degrees or orient them along the grain and find, hey, what are the stresses along the grain? So uh, I, I kind of need to worry about, hey, this shear stress along the grain is going to be 53.6 kPa. Can it withstand that, you know, in that direction? So, but step back, what do we do? We took a figure in order to get this old sigma x, sigma y, and tau xy. And then we just plugged into our equations, knowing that we wanted to rotate at 70 degrees counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is positive. And plug in to find the new stress perpendicular to the cut, the new stress parallel to the cut. <clears throat>